get started. I do have my palette up here to the left for us. And these are my colors. And today, I think we'll start with a little bit of Let's get a little bit on the brush. Now tap it in. You don't want it to be too blotchy on there. And it'll be harder to get on the canvas. Hopefully uh, this doesn't fall off. I've never done this before, but I want you to be able to see the colors here. And I'll go through them when I can, but this is crimson. And we're going to start it right about here. And, and that white helps out. It's on there. Kind of make this up as I go. I do have a thing I'm looking at but that is uh, as a reference just so I can go faster because I don't want to be here all day. So then I'm going to take some blue. This is Prussian blue. You can use whatever blue you want for the sky. I just decided to try this out. So we're going to get some of that on there. And for this, I'm going to start in the top and come down a little bit instead of the middle. That way it'll be darker and then I'll, as paint comes off my brush, it'll I'll lighten up. We'll just start up here. Throw some in the corners. Okay. See, I'm pushing pretty hard here. Hopefully my... This is going to be a little tough here, but it'll work. Hopefully my canvas doesn't fall off onto the floor. <laughs> uh, okay, just blend it in. Back and forth. I'm just going back and forth. You can go crisscross or just go back and forth. Whatever works. I got a little that brown on accident. That's okay though. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. It'll just be a little different. Out in the sky it won't. That might be uh, burnt sienna. I'll be a little more careful over here. So there you got a little bit of a sky and uh, looks good. Let's take a little more dark. Get up here in the corners. Okay. And that's just a good way to, that helps pull the eye down towards the middle. Gives you depth and distance in the painting. Okay. Simple. Now, I suppose since we've got some back down there, we should come in and just put a little bit down here. And if you mix this blue with this crimson, you can get like a lavender or purple color. And you just clean your brush off down here. I don't like using a lot of medium because it gets pretty, it gets really hard to blend after a while. So I know it gets too thin. But down on the bottom, I don't have as much of the white, super white medium. It's just, but it sure makes doing skies easy. And down here, we'll try out a lot of this cover. Yeah, blend that into there. Come over here. Push that in. How about that? There's our kind of our sky. I didn't put any yellow in today because I don't want to do that. But next time maybe if uh, I do another one. So then we'll take another clean brush and we're just gonna kind of come in and blend all this together. Okay. So it's gonna be super soft. Start where right in the middle here. Okay. Blend it back and forth. I don't really want to tell where the colors are. You want to just kind of Fade away. Okay, mix it up. Okay. Put some 
cards and you can go with that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can come down here. And paint. We may not have water here. I think I'm going to have a little bit though. Soft, soft, soft. Just hold my hand so I can hand. There. So there's our backdrop and what I want to use. And I think that'll be great. Um, next thing we can do is I'll take in here and we'll throw some clouds in. And I'm going to just do some easy ones today. But I'm going to come over here with a fan brush. I'm going to throw some white on it. Okay. I'm going to come up here. And let's see here. Maybe we'll just have a little cloud that's going to come and go right here. I'm just going to push. I'm just going to let the brush move and wiggle. And just do whatever. Just like that. Okay? Pretty easy. And if I wanted to, I could put a little crimson in there. Warm it up a little bit. Not too much, though. We'll come back in here and try that again. Push. And just come this way over there. There. One more. Maybe on the tops here. I want a little more. Just paint. I'm just, see how I'm twisting the brush? And I just let it go down. There. There's a cloud. Pretty easy. Then you can take, we use this other brush. This big brush. Okay. And then you can just kind of come in and take and just kind of twist it up a little bit today. Grab the bottoms and, and just kind of soften it up. Kind of disappear. These clouds don't need to be bold today. So. Yeah. Just go over it. That'll set it back into the sky. It's this thick paint. You know, most paint is thick now because you know, that we use. Most paint you get at the store. So there, that's an easy cloud. And remember, all you have to do is just take this, push it in, and just bend it around. Leave the bristles on the canvas. Okay, there's all kinds of ways of making clouds, but that's pretty, pretty simple. Okay, now we're going to come in, and I'm going to use a, oh, let's do this guy today. I'm going to use this guy, and we're going to make some mountains. I'm going to take this color. Oh, yeah. This is just a pre-mixed, it's a good mountain color, okay? I'm just gonna get a little bit on my knife, see that? Pull it over, and we're gonna come in and figure out where we want our mountains today. So let's say the clouds are making your eye go this way. Let's have the mountains go this way. They're gonna be strong, so I'm gonna put them right about, start it here, okay? Good contrast, isn't it? Put this guy here, just a nice mountain. And I don't want a ton of paint on the canvas, so I'm going to scrape it, but this uh, works out super good for you. Now, this is kind of a pointy brush, but we're going to fix that when we come in. And we'll kind of have some pull that down. I'm only concerned with the edges really right now. Just make some nice little ridges and stuff. This looks like it could be something in Glacier. I live here near Glacier and actually work near the park. So it's pretty fun having that to see for getting ideas and stuff. A lot of times I take pictures in the park and, and uh, throw up you want your mountains to be different sizes, not the same. So We'll come back in and fix them up right, but yeah, maybe. You know, that one can go that way or pull them up a little. You don't want to be super pointy, but this brush is a little, a little thick. You know, with this guy, he's a little different, but this is not the brush. It's a, there. So that's, that looks all right, huh? They're all a little bit different size, you know. Maybe we'll round them a little more.
this one here is be rounded more. There. Maybe he's sharp. There. And we're gonna pull that. We're just gonna pull some of that color off. Okay. So we kind of do that. Let me wipe our that guy off. And there's so I have another one I use. This one's a little different because he's not as pointy. Gives you a little more easier to do the mountain. But sometimes it's good to try your different stuff out. Then we're gonna come in and um, I'm gonna grab another small brush and we're gonna come in and kind of just grab these and pull them. And you can with your mountains like this, so easy. You're what you're doing here is you want to just pull it down. And then it takes a lot of paint off. And that's kind of you don't want too much on here because when you come put the highlights on, the less paint you have, the better. Okay? And you just pull that down. How far down do you want that mountain to go? Just blend it in. Okay? And you can do your mountains the way you want them to look. I think we're going to go and kind of cut them in half. You can make your highlights and your shadows just by doing this. Okay? Yeah. And then you come down here and blend that out into there. So there's your <clears throat> there's your mountain there and there's a lot of contrast in this painting that really stands out you know this is just an easy way to learn to paint okay not a lot of um taking a lot of time this stuff but you can come in and anybody can do this it's not hard okay so now we want to put some highlights on here maybe i'll scratch a little more off here and we're just going to make this up as we go okay but this is uh this mountain will come down and then we will Let's just grab some white right up here, okay? On our brush. And just a little thing like that. And then we'll start out with, where do we want to start? Let's go to our distant peak first. So let's say that um, this is our farthest one here. So we'll just take, start at the top, and let's say the light's coming from over here today. So we're just gonna kind of come in and put some little, just grab the knife and barely touch, go down. And let it pull off. See that? If your brush gets dirty, you can clean it, but you're just barely touching on this, okay? Try this guy. You want to turn it as you go. There we go. Very soft. You want to pull this out flat. Okay, back. Okay, you want that, that paint standing up on your brush. Okay, here's the big guy here, so we're going to start with him. And just let that paint pull. See it pulling? That's the key. You don't, if these don't break, if this paint doesn't break, the mountains won't set back for you. There we go. So, some good breaking there on the paint. If you get too much on this guy, uh, I'm going light here because I don't want my, uh, <laughs> this on, on the floor. Um, okay. Come over here and you want to come up and just let it wiggle, the brush wiggle, you know, and then you got that. And maybe we're going to we're gonna have some fun. Let's get some more. Maybe, you know, it comes up over here. Comes around. We're going to make this mountain with some really, that's a good looking. Maybe it comes this way. And I'm just trying to figure out, you know, where I want that mountain to go. And you can see the little edges and stuff and the sun coming in and everything up top here. Come in here and maybe pull that down over your ear. There. There. Simple way to do mountains. So that kind of gives you an idea that yeah, he's got some snow on him. So that looks pretty good. Okay. And then over here, maybe here, let's pull this guy up a little bit too. Maybe this one here comes up right there. Have a peak there. Okay. Grab some more white. Just you can jiggle. There. There. That don't look too bad. And maybe up here, this little guy in the corner. He's just got a little peak coming over. Something like that. You can see where the, the light's kind of shining over there, and, and that'll work there. So then, let's take some of this Prussian blue. 
We'll put it over here. Have some of that white. Okay. There. Maybe put a little of this brown in there. And this will be our shadow color. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. There. This will be our... I'll make it a little brighter than normal, but you want the shadow color to kill all of your super dark. Not dark in there will be nice. So, so with our shadow, we're gonna come and do the same thing. Grab a little paint, and we'll start right up here. And you just want to go opposite directions. So we're just gonna take touch, pull, pull, and push that guy back. Shadows. Okay. Touch. Get a pull. Ton of pressure, you still want these to break too. Take your time, load that paint right on the tip. And see that pushes that peak back, doesn't it? And just add some a little bit in there. You don't have to use a palette knife, but today we are it just gives you really cool mountains. And you know that's kind of cool. I think I like the what the palette knife can do. Maybe this can come down. all the way down so it makes you look like your mountains really like coming down in front there all right that down. you can work on mountains it doesn't take and you just want to come opposite directions here see that little shadows in there you don't have to cover up all your dark either you know in here sometimes it you got to come in with the end of the knife and If you have a bad, if you make a mistake, which we don't really care, we don't do mistakes in here, you can come in and just add little things in here. Yeah, these are pretty far back. Maybe they blend together there. Something comes into there and then, there. And you can always come back in and try and push it out. Push it up into there and pull it down. A little bit there, here. There. So don't overwork them. Just there's an easy mount. Very simple. And it's pretty effective too. You know, and it's been uh, you know, 18 minutes into this painting and uh, everything, you know, I think that looks pretty good. And you can come down here and in some of these areas you can maybe add a little bit of this blue in here. Touch, touch. Pull any place you want a little crevasse or a ravine just come the opposite direction you know okay and that just looks like little 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 edges and stuff back in there and little things happening that is pretty good painting so far okay what am i gonna do next here there okay so next thing i want to do is come in with this guy and we want to soften this up a little bit down here so we're going to come in and what i want to do is just Pull it, tap, whatever. If you can see a mountain, there's mist at the bottom and all kinds of stuff, so it kind of can start to disappear a little bit, you know, and you want it to look like it's floating out there. Now, this way, I want to go this way. I kind of want to go with the angle of your, of your, your mountain, follow the angles. Pull straight up, okay? There. You got that? Then you just kind of do that too. Basically, we want the mountain to kind of look nice on top and then mist down into uh, some mist. Okay. All right. So, let's see here. Next thing we're going to do is I got some green from yesterday, but I'm going to come in and use a fan brush. Probably going to use the one I used on the mountains, okay? And we're just going to put some trees in this area. I'm going to try some of this. It's dark. And I'm going to put some Prussian blue in there. Might have to load some more Prussian blue. These are just distant trees. Maybe a little of this stuff. Okay. See, it's got some green to it, which I don't know if I want that much green. I'll put some more blue in there. Because with green, 
I don't want green far away because it I want more blue far away than green there. Maybe we'll get a little white in there, maybe a black color. There we go. Something like that. Okay. And all I want to do here is maybe make some some distant trees. Get a little more white. Okay. These paints I use, I just get them at the art store, most of them, when they're on sale. I think they look pretty good. There, that's a pretty good color. And then we're going to come in here and just kind of make some trees here. Some distant trees. I'm just tapping down. Okay. And these will just kind of push the, the... And the paint's not too thick here, so it's coming off good. If you start getting your paints too thick or too thin, or too much paint on the canvas, then you're gonna, you'll probably won't be too happy. Yeah. We're just pushing down, making in. These are just indications of trees that are kind of gonna be in the background. And I could put a little paint thinner on here a little bit if I wanted, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just vary these so they're not all the same, but. some big trees on this side and they're going to be very good with contrast because of that I think I'm just going to kind of take these all the way across I like that background paint color I want I'm just going to do that and that should be fine so we got that there so there's just some distant trees that we'll have and that'll work out pretty good so some of here we can darken up a little bit and then maybe something we can have a few more in between there you know maybe some of them you can see a little go back and forth a little bit or go this way yeah, I think that looks pretty good for those right there okay and then another thing that I want to do again with these is I want to come in with this guy and we want to soften the bottom of these. I'm just going to tap right there. You know, do that. Or maybe we'll do this. Pull them down a little bit. Okay, let's do that instead. We're going to have the water here in the background. So we're going to pull these trees down. There's our water. So it looks to me like it's very... Doesn't necessarily need to be winter, it just need to be a you know. Okay, pull those down. Yeah, over there, over there. Looks pretty good there. Okay. And then just go across lightly. And so there you have like a sheen of water. And that'll work there. Okay. So come back in and we have our water there so let's get some land back there and maybe we can take that color a little brown in there I'm just throwing color on here I don't we'll see how it looks a little more white a little bit of brown in there let's see if we can make some I'm just use a knife and go through here and just tap get a little land back there Okay, it's an easy way to do it, and fast. Just tapping, just like before, I'm just getting paint on my brush. And maybe it comes over here. And, you know, it just gives you, I kind of wanted this painting not to be so cold, but I guess it's gonna turn out this way today. There, so there, it kind of gives you an indication of a little land in the background. If you want, you can pull it down. A little, put little cliffs or something in there. Whatever. For now, I think we're just going to just make it that way. and Just kind of, you kind of want it to come this way. You don't want it to go this way. Either the water will look like it's running uphill, but that will probably work just fine for us. So 
for now, and then we can come in and darken that up a little bit, maybe a little more brown, a little sienna. We'll see how it goes. far back there, but a bit, uh, not super far away. I think we can use a little more color like that. There, now you kind of got a little bit of a some land in there, and that'll work good. You don't need a lot. You can pull down if you want in places. And, huh. We'll use that for the land, and I think that'll, that'll kind of push them back there. Even these are distant trees. So we're going to come in and have some other trees in the foreground here shortly, and that'll kind of push everything back there too. Um, let's come in here. And I'm gonna to try to get a little, I'm kind of running low. I'm gonna put some light on another palette over here for everybody. So I'll this over here. And we can have a little liquid. out here on the lot and I'm just gonna try to get a little you know put that in just kind of come below it kind of gives you a little water line there scrape it in I'm just taking and getting it on the top of the brush now and then just kind of go with back and forth some indications that there's some water out here maybe. And it's just using the fan brush. I can make them a little level, but if you don't like them, you scrape them until they go away. You know, there. And a lot of this might be covered up. Over here we'll get some. Yeah, it's on there. So there, it kind of gives a little water line back there. Little distant trees and stuff. So next here, we're gonna cake and have some fun here. I'm gonna come in and get, oh, we're gonna get some dark going now. So I'm gonna take this, grab some black, brown, crimson, a lot of paint here. I'll probably come in and throw some more on here. Okay, black, blue, crimson, black, brown. Okay, and what we're going to do now, there's a lot of paint on there. I'm going to come in and we're going to have some put this in here, okay? And this is going to be our foreground. Okay? That's going to warm it up a little bit, I think. I'm just going to make a few little things here. And we're going to bring that all the way across. So. And see how hard I'm tapping? I'm going to make little things with the brush. You know, pokes up, makes those little grass things. And this, this is a very easy way to paint. Painting is not hard. It's more dark brush. A little brown there. I like crimson. I'll come over here. Another side. Let's look at what we're doing here. It's just throwing some dark. Okay. This is when you're this, <laughs> this is when you're uh, you can get into trouble in your palette all. Your canvas will fall off your palette, land on the floor, get your carpet all dirty. I suggest using a... 
I highly suggest using that. It'd be messy when you think about having something on the ground that keeps your carpet from getting dirty. I just use a towel or a blank or old sheets. It's going to work fine. using my headphones today. Okay, so there, nice and dark. Dark is all we want here, okay? I think I want to do something a little bit. I want to come up a little more here. Okay. There. How's that? So there, the water's still there. It's all good. Okay, so we got that in it. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna come in and just put some trees in now. And I think I'm gonna do some pine trees. Just some easy, you know, some easy background trees. And we'll do the same thing, maybe get some some of this color in there. I'm gonna do actually. some black up here. You can get all this. This is a, I don't promote their products because they don't pay me, but this is a good paint. I picked this up at the local art store when it was on sale. And I don't really pay a lot for paints because I don't waste a lot. So I'll put some yellow over here. And this is going to give me a good dark green. I like using black and green in my, in my trees. So we'll take the black. Okay, get a little of this yellow. There we go. These are going to be the backgrounds of them. There. It's pretty dark. A lot of paint, though. But these trees are going to... Okay, let's see how that looks. We can get all that in there, too. There. A lot of paint on the bristles. And we're gonna come up here. And one here. Start this guy here. Just push down. And I don't know how far down I wanna bring him, but okay. Not bad as. We're gonna get rid of it though. It's just a lump, lump of dried paint. There. There. And I might wanna thin this a little. Put a little paint thinner in there to thin it up a little bit. Not much. There. Nice sharp. There. And I just like to do that. This fan brush, there's so many ways of making trees, but and then we're just going to come in and tap, go back and forth. Okay. So if it starts not falling off your brush, reload. Okay. And just tap back and forth. Okay, again, and come in. It's easy to overdo them, but you just kind of just want some nice tree indications up here, right? There, just push. Sometimes you have to push hard to get the paint to fall off. The tree looks good. Bring some more paint there. I'm not going to cover my mountain today. More paint. More yellow. Okay, these have got a little greenish hue to them. I kind of like that. And maybe one here. There, one there. And he'll just go right there. Sharpen the brush, touch, and just kind of punch it in. See how I'm doing that? Just tapping it in there, and you know that looks good. You don't need them to be. Super bold trees, you know, trees are, oh man, they're every, every design you can think of when you're out looking at trees. They, maybe this one's crooked. They don't all have to be straight and grow. It depends on wind and weather and stuff, but I don't usually start at the top. I usually start down a little. Move the brush around, bend it that way. 
You just got to get used to your brushes, and all fan brushes are different. You Sometimes you'll find out that the left side or one way or the other, they bend differently. And then you can come back up and just barely touch the tops. Like this. See? You don't need to... Smash another one in there. So you've got nice trees there. Okay. You want to keep going with these trees, right? They're going to be all through here. And then we can speed it up a little. You don't need to take a while. I'm just... And sometimes the faster you go, and see this color we're using on the trees, we can throw some of that down in here. Just a dark, got some yellow. I like yellow and black for trees. Same thing. Just kind of throw them all in there. And if they get a little, di little different look to them, you can come back in and do whatever. There. So you got your trees. Yeah, we'll have to go to the other side now. Do one more paint job. This ain't going to take much longer. You know, this is a pretty good painting and it is only 36 minutes in so and I'm not trying to go super fast today so watch this one there put that there again lots of paint dark and you can use a liner brush to do this if you want to I'm just going to kind of come down and Come on. Put some more paint thinner up there. Okay, watch here. See? More on there. Some more edges coming out there. Now this one's falling off the side here, so you're not gonna see the whole tree. Okay, and here and just tap. And just tap it lightly, okay? practice trees they don't they're not that they're not hard you come in and you'll figure it out okay want that brush sharp maybe this one's coming this way and has a crook in it make them look good make them fun you know and just back and forth you can go one side first and then you can turn your brush this way and come in and maybe you'll get some more points that way come up top Trees look weather. They've had a rough, rough out here, wherever this place is. Kind of to get a little of that, a little bit more green in there. We're gonna put some highlights on here, and maybe a little path, some rocks. Yeah. Send it out. There. Oh, it's sometimes it's better. Artistic-wise, you have odd numbers when you're painting stuff, so. I don't know. In your paintings. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. We're going to come in and put some more in. Okay. There you go. And then just same thing. coat darker. We'll put some highlights on these here in a little bit, but see how that stands out? That dark. Tree could be a little bigger. There. And then, then down in front here, we'll maybe put some more little ones. A lot of paint though. We're running out of black. Because if you don't have a lot of paint on your brush, you're going to start mushing. And when you mush, your trees won't be as deep defined they're gonna you'll start you want the paint to pull out the brush when you're doing this okay take some of that black a lot of paint that we also want to get just a little more in there. 
That just makes it darker. Look at that. A lot of paint. Yeah, got some little trees in here. Okay. Yeah. There's a littler. Yeah, go up there. Just tail. Okay. There's that one. See, it starts, you get stuff mixing in the back there with a lot of paint. You get stuff mixing in the back, and it can cause, you know, you can get some other stuff. Hey, let's try something different here. I'm going to throw this guy down for a second. And I'm going to grab a little tiny, just a little um, filbert brush. So I'm going to come back in here, grab some more of this, sharpen him up. Maybe we can just do some little more trees in here, just some little guys. No, I don't like that one. Not today. That's okay. Let's take the tip there and just, you know, and then you can come in and just make some little guys down here, maybe there. Little stuff going on there. Again, they don't need to be. fill those in and that'll give you just some other little trees and stuff back there or maybe it's coming in from the water or something good idea so let's take and maybe we're going to do a little maybe there's a little path that's coming back from here from the water or something okay so i'll take some uh brown some of this brown here and then maybe we can just make a little path okay just touch Come that way. Guess what? I'm out of brown. Get a little more brown on there. Put some there. This is just burnt, uh, no, this is raw umber. It's a good brown. You can do that or you can use Van Dyke brown. And I like burnt sienna. It's a good brown. Red. It's got some red in it. So, there. That would be enough for a minute. Okay. Go back in here and grab some of that. Mix them together. Yeah. It's a little light in there, too. That way you'll be able to see it. It's dark in here, right? So I'm just kind of... There. Just kind of come in and just touch a little path. Okay. Make it a little lighter as you get away. Uh, maybe it comes down here and kind of fades over here. I don't know. Kind of little things in it. There. There. Your path, as it gets closer, should get wider, you know, perspective wise. There. A little path coming in from the water. Maybe you want it to look like it's got some little, little things in it. You can come in here and just pull down. It's got some little, it's like a little ledges coming down. You don't need to do this, but I'll just grab a little black and pull down. There's like little rocks and stuff in it. Or, I don't know, maybe it's like tuk, 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 kind of coming downhill there. Maybe that's that, that would give you that type of a indication there. All right. Okay. Then we can come in on these trees do this. Make some little point here. Yeah. No, no one needs on these to be perfect. There. Just kind of pull them up a little bit here and there. There. One there. One there. Take this guy. One there. You know, and you come in here. And... You know, try to make some. We'll go in and maybe put some things in them. Some limbs and stuff. But okay, so now we got all this dark and we're gonna come back in and we're gonna put some uh, uh, lighter color in there. And it's gonna be um, super um, thick right now. There's paint, a lot of paint on here. So we're gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna get a new fan brush 
and I think we're gonna want this one. This is kind of big. I'll use this little guy here, okay? I'm gonna take this yellow and that black we had, okay? We're gonna need more yellow, I can tell. Now, this, we're gonna put some highlights on the trees. And pull some more yellow on here. I like this palette like this, I mean, otherwise I don't know how else I would be able to show you this, but get that yellow in there. And I don't want these trees super bright, or black, whatever, or black, or yellow. I want them to look kind of earthy. I don't want them to be too vibrant, but you'll be able to see these good. So um, what should we do? Let's just go over here and we're just gonna barely touch, you know, and just try to get a little bit of, little bit of color on them. Darker at the bottom, you know. A little more yellow in there. I might have went too dark. There. There. See, you're just barely touching. Don't, don't kill all your black. Because if you do, it's gonna look kind of flat. more on there and just tap, just touch. Yeah, a little bit there. Some of these little ones you may not see. So let's go over here and I think I need a little more paint thinner on there because uh, if you put, you know, thin your paint, a thin paint will stick to a, a thick paint actually. So otherwise you, you gotta let it dry to do this. And that's okay too. Be loose and fast. Now I'm just kind of, you know, find some spots. Just get these in there. Huh, that one looked too bad. That looks pretty good. Okay, maybe those trees are back there ways. That goes down to the water or something. And I'm just going to come in and put some of this highlight in there. This grassy stuff and bring it right into the rocks. Okay. I mean, you have dark areas and light areas, but we're just, today is just, you know, you just want it, look at how it looks nice and green and warm in the background. The snow hasn't left the mountains yet. And here in Montana, it hasn't, there's still a lot of snow up high. Lots of snow up high. Um, yeah, and we're going to put more highlights on these too. These are just... Yeah, push that into those rocks. You can push up or down or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you don't get rid of all your dark areas because if you do, if you do, then you're not gonna be able to, uh, it's gonna look flat and won't look right. So maybe that little thing goes over a hump there, you know? Okay, all right, let's see here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good there mountains trees in the background trees in the foreground some of them are crooked some of them are straight yeah i like that um so let's come in here and we're gonna get some more of that yellow and we're gonna lighten it up some more or maybe i don't do this a lot let's get some let's do some light green mix into that see what it does Ooh, let's use that there. I already have some. See, I'll take some of this, put it in there. Maybe not. Oh boy. There. Ooh, that'll give us some good highlights, huh? So remember, we got the, the light, let me say, is coming from this angle. This is the mountain. Maybe it's touching here. Coming in. Now I'm gonna go darker under these trees. Yeah, I'm just touching. Don't kill all 
the dark. There, and as it gets under that tree there, darker, 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 and it gets in. All right, don't overdo. Over here, might not be seeing as much. Maybe there's some right in this area, you know. Right there, yeah, those trees are probably, maybe some hits over there. Feel like there's sun, a little bit, light, dark, and I think that looks just fine. You can put more yellow in, but I think the green looks pretty good. Not too bad there. Okay, uh, what else could we do? Should we put an old, should we put just a dulled tree in the middle? Let's see, well, how much time do we have here? 51 minutes. I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think I'm going to try to keep this one under an hour. I don't really like spending all day watching painting videos. So let's take, if I, let's take here just some of this brown. Grab a little brown and maybe come up here and touch. A little touch here and there. Not much. Nice touch. Over here. Just little indications, you know, doesn't need to be 3D indications. You can pull like here, touch this guy. Here you can grab and pull at the base, pull it to the side, touch, touch. Because you know he's got a little more, a little thickness on the bottom there, right? And let's see here, should we throw a rock in there? Yeah, let's come in here and just, there's a big rock right here. Just sitting right here. Flat, maybe add a little wedge there and it just kind of sticks out right there. Okay? Not hard to do. You got your rock, and then all you need to do is get a little bit of a little bit of white. Mix it in there. Okay. Okay. Grab this guy. Little edge. So our, our light was over here. little rock there and you come back in and get the dark more dark there go back on the back side and something like that there pretty simple and then you need to come in and where's that brush at then you can come in and you know, at the bottom of this guy Drop that. You can come in here and darken that up a little bit right there, and then kind of push up underneath him. You gotta set him back. All right, kind of push up so it kind of buries him a little bit. Okay, and maybe let's do this. Let's with this path. Let's push a little bit here. And if you do this, a lot of times I can give your Maybe there's a little bit coming there and, you know, you can push paint on and make little lines and stuff, you know, like that. It kind of makes the grass look a little longer in the front, if you want to do that. All right, I don't want to overdo it, but yeah, some little indications. Maybe that got a little too light there. You come back in with your darks. Now we want to keep the edges and the bottoms a little darker on the bottom. It'll push everything back. So there. So I think uh, today I think that's a good painting, and uh, we can sign that painting if we want. Get some uh, red. I don't like signing with red. It seems to stand out, you know. But you can sign your paintings with whatever you want. Put a little red there. Little liner brush right there. I'll just dip in your paint thinner. And you can use uh, whatever you want. You don't need to use paint thinner. 
This is a, one of the best liner brushes I ever got, and it was, I don't know, I got it at the art store here. Seems to hold up good. And you can sign it wherever you want. I'm just going to go here and go L. More paint. Just a little bit on the tip. L. E. This is, I can wait till they dry to, to do this too, but usually I don't ever come back and remember to do it. So. So hopefully this helped you out today and uh, it's an easy way to do a easy beginner landscape painting and uh, I would want to thank you for watching me today. Come in here and put some little, little sticks and stuff in here just by throwing up, you know. Sticks and twigs. And if you like the video, doing pretty good. Kind of fun stuff to do. Oh, there's a lot of art channels on YouTube now. There. That just gives you some little things happening in there to break it up a little bit. But there you go. There's a little painting you can do. And it's pretty simple. And have a good day. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.